George F. Will, uh, George Will, George F. Will has been around. I mean, he has been sort of slinging his patented brand of bow tie clad pseudo intellectual airy reactionary mediocrity i think since before matt and i were born uh it shows that awfulness is usually connected with resilience in american media and george f will has uh with all of the pretensions of a Regency costume drama and the intellectual half heft of Ann Coulter, still writes for the Washington Post, appears regularly on the prestigious Sunday morning shows, and but yet, uh, given his actual true nature and his actual intellectual vitality, has wound up on Fox News, which is where he actually belongs. Because if you want... Um, Sean Hannity, without the uh, gym teacher masculinity, and you want uh, Bill O'Reilly without the charisma, and you want all of them without the humor, and you want Brian uh, Kilmeade without... Well, I don't even know. Brian Kilmeade has nothing. But <laughs> let's just... let's you know. So we'll leave it there. So George Will, who is mainly known for being a global warming denialist, a dull worshiper of Reagan. He's been needing to up his game since he moved over to Fox. He's been needing to move more towards the Benghazi end of things. And it should come as a surprise to no one that George F. Will is a misogynist. So how did George F. Will in the past couple of days a managed to insert himself in the bloodstream and earn his, I'm sure, extravagant pay at Fox. He did it by writing a column for the Washington Post called Colleges Become the Victims of Progressivism. And this is George F. Will's hopeful entrance into the debate on sexual assaults in colleges. And, of course, it's a beautiful timing after a mass shooting which... I think if we lay up all the debates aside and we don't have to relitigate all the stuff with this and that of various aspects of that case, I think anybody with any genuine intellectual integrity would say that obviously misogyny played some role in it. And President Obama giving an address a couple of months ago on sexual assault, some incredibly alarming numbers. George F. Will enters the debate with these doozies. Quote, now the Obama administration is riding to the rescue of sexual, of quote, quotation marks, sexual assault victims. It vows to, uh, well, actually, let me, let me get down. It vows to get away from the ambiguities of the hookup culture, this cocktail of hormones, alcohol, and the faux sophistication of today's prolonged adolescence of especially privileged young adults. He says... Victimization is ubiquitous and now a coveted status on college campuses. <laughs> oh, it's man. a coveted status <laughs> to be the victim of a sexual assault. He goes on to create a bunch of cloud around the statistics and look there's no question that obviously how you measure these things is always going to pose a challenge but i think anybody with any integrity would say that the much more prevalent problem is these things going underreported and not getting addressed <laughs> not the potential ambiguities that could arise in the future look we don't want anybody to get falsely accused. We don't want, you know, of course. But what's the actual problem we face today? The actual problem we face today is that there's very solid statistics that at the very least 19% of women in college campuses have experienced attempted or completed sexual assault since entering college. 
And moreover, looking at this adult male who occupies tremendous privilege in this country, the problem of stigmatization of these crimes leads victims to underreport, leads colleges to follow policies which in effect discourage reporting actual and we're and, and let's be clear let we're talking sexual assault period okay I'm, we're not talking all these other scenarios that they throw in to complicate the issue sexual assault happens it happens regularly and it's a dangerous environment for women period and when you add taking to a platform like the washington post with all of the pseudo intellectualism you can muster to basically say Women are whores. College is confusing. Stuff happens. It's liberal hookup culture's fault. And being a victim is a coveted status. I, I don't know if you've ever spoken to anybody who's experienced sexual assault. I don't know if you've ever interacted with someone who had someone close to them physically assault them. Someone who had been drugged in an attempt, any young person today and any adult, any older person, but I would say I think I think some of these conversations are more open now. I am literally shocked, even as someone who knows the numbers and is not delusional about these things, I am astounded by the amount of women that I know who have experienced some level of sexual assault or sexual predation. It's absolutely astonishing. And if we can't move past that and we can't move that baseline and we're going to have our heads up our asses about this and George Will is going to use his platform to make light of it and turn it into another silly progressive boogeyman and everything is just a debate about 1990s speech codes, we're not going to get anywhere. And I would just call on anybody, and this might sound kind of cliche or saccharine, but look, if you, it's, I mean this quite seriously, if you have a mother or a sister or a daughter or think you will have a daughter in the future or have any woman in your life that you have respect and connection to, you cannot dissociate from the reality of this. It doesn't mean all men are bad. It doesn't mean that things aren't complicated. It doesn't mean, you know, all of the nonsense you throw. But there are undeniable numbers, 19% sexual assault. That is a solid number from the CDC. I invite you to go out in your life and have genuine conversations with people. And these are conversations that I didn't elicit. It's a product of a certain level of trust. You would be truly astounded. And then if you opened the umbrella up to a situation that didn't turn in a certain direction, but could have like that, you will be astounded. And shame on George Will for turning something that everybody should get behind to change and transform and condemn into another example, another opportunity to write a couple of pseudo-intellectual cheap shots for the Washington Post. It's disgusting. It's beneath all of us, regardless of our politics. And we must, must do something about this and move forward and move through it. That's the only way. And it's the only strong thing to do. It's the only clear thing to do. If every single time you identified someone who was the victim in some type of systemic sense... If you don't see the logic of how that applies here, but you see the logic of how it applies in inequality, you have to see it's the same threat. What happens every time you try to have a serious conversation with inequality with conservatives? A million excuses, a million clouded examples, a million, well, this but that. Okay, fine, but what's the bottom line structural reality? Is that inequality is a barrier. The bottom line structural reality is that women, whether in the military, whether in college, whether in the street, are victims of forms of sexual assault and sexual violence at a rate that if anybody had intellectual integrity and basic decency 
would be profoundly disturbed by. And that doesn't implicate anything beyond that in a certain sense. It's time to get real about it. And it's time to not even respond to George Will with, I don't even want to respond to the rage and shock that he wants. I want to respond to him like he's a disgusting, passe object that we might have to call into account sometimes. But we can start to just safely work together and let that recede into the recesses of an unpleasant and hopefully in the future irrelevant history.